For this tutorial, you need to copy and paste some commands into a terminal window. But all the commands you need are in the description of the video for you to copy. First of all, download El Capitan to your Apple Mac from the App Store. It will take about an hour and a half to download. But when it's finished downloading, don't install it or click continue, just exit out of it. Next, put a USB pen into your Apple Mac. Make sure it has at least 8GB or more of space and there's nothing on there you need because it will be formatted. Then go to Spotlight Search or click Command and Spacebar to bring it up. When it comes up, type in Disk Utility. When it finds the Disk Utility, double click on it to open it up. On the left hand side, you should see a USB drive. Click on the USB drive, but be careful not to click on any other drives. Make sure it is the USB stick you are clicking on. Then click on Erase at the top. Then for the format, choose Mac OS X Extended Journaled. For the name, type in L Cap Installer, exactly as it's written. Or to make sure, just copy the name from the description below and paste it into the name box. Then click on Erase at the bottom right hand corner and erase again when the dialog box appears. You might see a box popping up asking you what you want to do with the disk. Click Don't Use. It shouldn't take long to erase depending on the size of the USB drive. Once that is done, you can close down the disk utility. Then go to Spotlight Search or click Command and Spacebar to bring it up and type in Terminal and double click on it when it finds the application. A terminal window will appear. Now copy the commands from the description below and paste into the terminal box. Then click enter. It'll ask you for your administrator password for your Apple Mac. Type in the password and click enter again. It'll tell you it's erasing the disk and copy and install files to it. This will take about 10 to 15 minutes to complete. If a box pops up asking you what you want to do with the disk, click Don't Use. Once it is finished, it will tell you that it's done and you can close the terminal box. And you now have a USB stick with El Capitan installer on it. You can either install it by booting up off it or plug it into the Mac and run it straight from the desktop. 